What's up guys, I'm gonna try to stay a little bit more relatable. So obviously the engineered mass shooting dial has been cranked up. Womp, yes, I know it's horrible, but let's think about something. Everybody is talking about guns, 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 guns. Yes, we think there's a gun grab coming, okay, we get it. Here's the biggest problem I have. You forget that you're a US citizen. Don't be stupid. US citizens do not have the right to bear arms. If you're a US citizen, you belong to the United States. The United States is a subsidiary corporation of the District of Columbia. And the District of Columbia is a subsidiary corporation of the Crown. So please understand that if you are a US citizen or have US citizenship, you are controlled by foreign powers and you contract it into having a benefit or a privilege with your little permit or your license to carry Whatever it is you do, if you really had the unalienable right to bear arms, you wouldn't have done any of that, okay? The reason you did it is because you did not have the right to bear arms, and you still do not have the right to bear arms unless you corrected your status. Dion and I are state nationals. We have the right to bear arms. I know how to enforce my right to bear arms. I know my status standing in jurisdiction, okay? It's different than what you think it is. Firearms are not arms. What is the difference? Firearms is a term that they threw into legalese, into the legal world, then they got you to contract into carrying firearms. Arms is a broad term. Anything the military has, the militia can have. And if you're a lawful American people, one of we the people, and you belong to the Constitutional Republic or one of your states, like the Republic of Texas, you have the right to bear arms, okay? And as a militia man, you can have anything the military has, a tank, a fighter jet, a cell phone jammer, a freaking bump stock, a freaking fully automatic, whatever, it doesn't matter. Whatever the military has, the militia can have. The important thing you have to understand is don't be stupid when you have contracts out there, they're gonna throw you in the water jurisdiction for your mistakes, you contracted into carrying firearms, okay? You literally signed those papers and you're not gonna be able to defend yourself in commerce, in the water jurisdiction, in the court of law, okay? You do not have the correct status and you contracted yourself into their system and their jurisdiction. If you do not understand this, don't be stupid. Don't flaunt your right to bear arms as a US citizen. Keep it on the down low and do whatever you can to stay out of harm's way, all right? Stay away from the courts, stay away from bad situations. Don't talk about it, don't brag about it, don't do anything stupid unless you know exactly what you're doing and you know your rights and you know the laws if you have corrected your status. So again, firearms is a legalese term. Arms is broad. It's pretty much everything. Anything and everything the military can have, all right? State nationals have the right to bear arms. You do not as a U.S. citizen. Be careful. All right, have a good day. Peace.